A Yankton High School student is making big moves in the local, national, and worldwide stage of sports. Yeah, Miles Krosky has brought home state titles for basketball and tennis. But as Renee Ortiz explains in tonight's Ion Coverland, it's another sport that is helping Krosky achieve a lifelong dream. 18-year-old Miles Krasky has always had a love for sports. Growing up, I was playing sports around the house and in the community. Whenever my sister was playing soccer, I was just kicking the ball on the side with my dad, and then I eventually was old enough to play youth sports. I was born with the most common form of dwarfism, which is achondroplasia, and which that it's the most common form, and that means our bones form at a much slower rate along with being shorter and then our legs bow out because our hips are built a little bit different. But that has never stopped him from competing. I found the LPA which is the Little People of America hosts a conference every year along with the DAAA which is Dwarf Athletic Association of America and they have a conference for a week long so I've been going to them since I was four years old so I found my group of people through that. Throughout the years, he's competed in an array of sports like golf, hockey, swimming, basketball, and tennis. For the last four years, he's competed with his brother Harrison on the Yankton High School tennis team. He's a great teammate. He's pretty much the comedian of the team. Mess around with our coach a lot. He's a good teammate by, he usually gets us the win when we need it the most. Miles' sports journey began in 2013 it was then he found love for a new game. It happened to be the World Dwarf Games, so and the first year that I could play all the sports, so I signed up for all of them, and I fell in love with badminton. My first tournament was in Northern Ireland in 2016, and after that tournament, I just fell in love and wanted to start working harder and hopefully reach the end goal of making the Paralympics. Miles continued to travel, competing in badminton championships around the world. In the last 10 years, he's traveled to 18 countries. Earlier this year, Miles found out his dream was finally coming true. He'll be competing in the 2024 Paris Paralympic Games in August. I'm pretty pumped for the trip to Paris since it's always been a lifelong dream of making the Paralympics and representing Team USA as well as South Dakota and Yankton. Miles will finish out the tennis season for high school and will begin his training in Omaha full time this summer. He's been training a lot, putting in all these hours of training. Just see him make it to the Paralympics is cool. Miles says he's continued to push himself to get to the Paralympics and says he's hopeful he can bring home a medal. I've taken much of the summers off to train full time pretty much and not been around my friends and family as much as I would have liked. I have finally accomplished what I've been striving for. It means a whole lot, especially with the support that my family and friends and coaches have helped me with. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Renee Ortiz. And Kraske plans to study business administration at USD in the fall. The 2024 Paralympic Games will take place on August 28th through September 8th.